Now that I've discussed functions and conditional statements and looping within my PHP series, I'm going to go ahead and focus now on variable scope. And what I mean by that is the extent of the use of a variable that we have within our code. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the code that I had from any previous exercises. Up here, we're going to go ahead and start off with a simple variable. I'm just going to call it dollar sign $time and I'll set it equal to 24. Now this is going to be what's considered a global variable, meaning that we can use this within all of the different functions within PHP. So this is readily available to anything we use, like for instance the if statement. So if I typed in something like if, and we typed in 5 is less than 6, that's going to result in a true condition. And so let's go ahead and just op have an opening and closing curly brace there, and write a echo statement here. So let's go ahead and echo that timeout. This will work, meaning I can use the time variable within this structure or block of code for my if statement. So if I save it and then refresh it, you'll see the 24 appears. And so that it can be used anywhere we work with. And I'm going to go ahead and echo just a break tag in there as well. Just so that when we start working with our other code, there we go, that it has a separation of lines. So this is the code, and I'll just copy it too. There we go. That will run whenever it, the condition is true and it's global, meaning I can use it inside of other blocks of code. And I can use it as many times as I want. The problem is going to come whenever we use something like a function. This is going to be a little bit different when it comes to a function. For instance, if I create a function here, I'll just call it the function's total. And then um, I won't put any parameters in this particular function, but I'll have the opening curly brace and I have an ending curly brace as well. And if I just paste that code in there, that we had before. Um, let's see, so this is the function is basically going to do the same thing as the if statement. However, when I call my function to run now, if I type in total and then the two parentheses to run this particular function, and I hit save, I'm going to get an error. And there it is. It displayed the 24 like it was supposed to. The function was loaded into memory and then it was told to run the function. Now, if we look at our function in line 14, it says we got a problem. It says it's an undefined variable called time. So this time variable that's right there is undefined, meaning it doesn't exist within the function. And within a function, they're going to be called local variables, meaning they're only localized within the block of code for the function itself. And so it's kind of the reason why we had to use parameters before. Now, to get around parameters, we can use a keyword called global. And what we can do is tell within our function, tell up tell the function that there is a global variable named time and then from that point on we can use that that particular variable so if I type in global as the keyword and then dollar sign time it will now take whatever that global variable of time is and then bring it into the function itself so if I save it and now refresh it you'll see that I get 224's so that's that keyword global now depending on um, your syntax for you're writing your code. Some people do not like to use global variables within the functions and they prefer only using parameters and passing them in through or referencing a variable through that way. Um, either way is going to work. It just depends on your style of coding and depends on the languages that you've learned in the past on how to do something like that. So this is within the actual function itself. Now if I were to create a variable in my if statement, let's go ahead and do that. I'll create a variable within my if, if statement. I'll just put dollar sign and we'll call this one distance and I'm going to go ahead and set that equal to let's say 50. Alright, now can I use that variable anywhere else in my code? Well, let's find out. After this total, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can echo out distance. And distance is, if you notice, distance is, was located in my if statement. So will it be available outside of my if statement since I created it in there? Well, let's find out. I'm going to refresh it, and you'll see I can use distance outside of my if statement even if it was created in there. So now what happens if I cut this code? We'll do a control X there to cut it, and then paste it within my function, and I go ahead and hit save. So the distance variable has been created, and whenever this function is loaded in memory, we do actually run the function first, and let's go ahead and see if we can use this distance variable. I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh and you're going to see that 50 now turned into an error on line number 22. It says that we have an undefined variable named distance which is right here on line 22 meaning I cannot use that variable outside of the function and that's one of the reasons why when we did the functions we used like the return um, command or the return keyword to be able to return a value back through the function. And so that's the 
kind of the scope of variables and you have to understand when you're working with variables and when you're creating variables that it's important where you place them and where you create them because it may or may not be able to be usable by other blocks of your code. So this is the video on variable scope and the global keyword.